If you are someone preparing for IIT JEE, this video is going to be a game changer for you. Because in this video, we have the top words of IIT JEE. AR1 So, my name is Shishir. 37 My advanced rank was 37 334 I am Ashutad Mishra And he asked them the most frequently asked questions that JEE aspirants from my telegram channel wanted to ask them. So here we have the 6 questions about IIT JEE which can potentially save you 6 months of time if you know them early. So here's the first question. What is the daily schedule that AR1 follows? And how is it different from AR37 and 334? Is there any difference? Okay, we used to have class from 6 to 8 o'clock. And then we used to have like half an hour breakfast break. And then we used to have like classes from 8.30 to like 12.30 around. And in that we used to have like 10 minutes break. Mm -hmm. And after uh, eating lunch again, we used to have like a session for uh, 2 to 8. Myself before studying again. And after 8, like uh, I used to come home and I used to be exhausted. So I used to not like study after 8. So there my day would end and I would just do some recreational activities. After, like. 30, remember? And my classes were from around 8.30 Okay And 8.30 to 2 o'clock mm -hmm. And I came back, had lunch, did the homework, went for a walk Timetable was like, um, scheduled from 6.30 to 8 We didn't study that much I never studied before That's with the schedule so how many hours do you think these people effectively study every single day? Does air one study more than the others? If you are focused for a 10 to 12 hours, it's a pretty good time. You don't have to give more time than that. You'll get a pretty good score. Like if you have an effective study session, you can like gain more out of the people. Even though they are studying maybe for 16 hours, mm -hmm. they might not be able to catch as much as you are studying for even like 8 hours. Because like Got I had a friend like who used to study for like 7 to 8 hours a day, like goof around a lot at the starting. But he has got like 40th rank in J Advance. Even like, even Got I'm it. surprised. Uh, see, including coaching, everything, on an average, it was 11 to 12 hours. Yeah, so I think it should really depend on person to person. So you shouldn't okay. push yourself till 10 hours if you can't do it. If you want sleep, just sleep. And if you want like breaks in the middle, you should take breaks. Although like you can set a minimum to 8 hours if you are aiming for that really good rank. Below 500 or below 100. You should set at least 8 hours. So now as they talked about how much time do they spend studying every single day, let's come to the next important question. What are the best reference books to prepare for ITJ? Because everyone knows that NCRTs are important and people usually follow the class teacher notes for physics and math. What books did these people follow? For physics or physics galaxy, for okay. everything except like the mechanics part. Okay. For mechanics, I used uh, a foreign author book called uh, Introduction to Mechanics by David Kleppner. But uh -huh. like I had to like filter out the stuff which are not there for a syllabus and I had to use it. Actually, I wouldn't even recommend it for a normal student. I would say like uh, a normal student, NCRT should be fine. Okay. Like this okay. was just for those few which you told those 5% questions. I just had prepared for those 5% questions also. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so in chemistry for organic, I remember doing MS1, uh, MS1, yes. That book. And the Rindra was, he was which one? Don't that yeah, book. Yeah. Physical, physical chemistry, that one. And for inorganic, I didn't do the book very well, but I just uh, read the coaching notes. You just listen to the class, revise the class hmm. notes, uh, do the coaching modules, and then revise NCRT. So for physics, any level you want, like you want to be like top 100 rank, top 500, any any kind of rank range, I think you should try Physics Galaxy. If you want like a really good rank, then you should also try Pathfinder in physics. When it comes to chemistry, I would say for organic, you should try Clearden for okay. really good ranks. Otherwise, just your professor's lectures. In organic, I don't know what to say. I followed only NCR. I didn't go further. So okay. I, I can't give any book recommendations in organic. Okay. Physical, I think your professor's lecture should be enough. There's no specific books for book for physical, but if you want a book, there is Atkins. Right. For maths, you can go with Singage. And for problems, there's a book known as Black Book. You guys solved a lot. Black book. <laughs> I guess, yeah. A lot of people have a lot of problem while trying to solve physics questions, right? So now let's see how Ashirwad approaches any new chapters that he has to study in order to become a pro at it. His rank was 334 by the way and he put this answer in a very simple way. How I try to do things is theory is greater than problems. Okay. So if I can master the theory, the easy problems are automatically overcome. Easy right. to medium problems. Then there are some hard problems that usually tend to come in J-Advance that requires an extra bit of thinking that the theory would usually not tell you. Right. So, 
what I'll firstly try to solve is previous mains. If I'm easily able to solve it, I skip it and I go to previous advanced. If I'm not easily able to solve it, I try to solve every single one of them. See the solutions to see that perspective of solving the problems. Try to write that what was new. And yeah, what about notes? What about short notes? Are they actually important? Everyone has a different opinion. Let's see what these people have to say about it. I can't comment much on this because I was too lazy to make notes in the class time. Okay. And uh, if I don't understand, I just read the textbook again and again. I didn't mind if it took more time, but I was just too lazy to make notes and I was just not good at making notes, I guess. Okay, what about short notes? You did not even make short notes. No. My remedy for short notes was just giving more exams so that all the type of uh, questions might get covered. I have tried various methods of learning. There have been moments where I've I just watched lectures for three hours, but at the end of three hours, I'm like I barely remember anything. So okay. not making notes while watching lectures didn't work for me. If I'm writing down simultaneously, at least uh, it's it's getting into my brain. So I think making notes is it's a must. It's a must. Yeah, uh, it doesn't have to be very detailed, maybe. If your professor has some good notes, then you don't need your own notes. But if he doesn't, I guess then you might. Or I I haven't faced this situation though, so I can't really tell. Our organic teacher he gave us our, his slides, which covered everything we required for the exam. And even our physical chemistry teacher gave us everything. And physics we didn't get any notes, but I think revising the book is sufficient. And now, how the hell do we clear backlogs, man? Let's ask them. So backlog is. It doesn't have to be that you have been studying the topic. It might be just okay. You have watched lectures or something, but you don't have much confidence in that because you have not solved a lot of questions in that. So the Correct. best strategy would be just go for it. Just solve, start solving questions. Makes sense. So you just mean to say that whatever yeah, is happening in the class, just try to follow the same. But only yes. if you have like some additional time somewhere over there, they try to like hmm. cover the backlog. Only no, if you have to make the time. There's no option. Okay, you have to make the time. Have to make the time. You have to make. I like after the, your syllabus is done, you can go for the practice sessions. Like practice the whole day. Do nothing but practice. Don't open theory. Take a topic okay. and just solve the questions. So yeah, our teachers gave us like quality questions, so I don't have to like do the simple ones. Just go for the hard ones so that I can get everything from the topic. Managing my time properly was the thing that helped. So now, as you have heard it yourself, there are so many common things. But there are also differences between them. Nothing is right, nothing is wrong. Life, education, work, these are very personal. Everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has their own choices, and everyone has their own preferences. Some people study in the morning, some people study in the night. Some people just highlight on their reference books, while some people just write down every single thing on a new piece of paper and call it notes or short notes. We'll actually talk about how to make notes, how to make short notes, and if you actually should make notes or not in a future set of videos. But for now. Let's continue. So now, what I want you to learn from this video is that take their advice like guidelines, not like instructions. Take them as your guidelines and experiment with your own timetable. In the initial stages of your preparation, try out a couple of books that these people suggested and see what you like the most. And select the book, stick with it till the end of your preparation. <sighs> so now, with that being said, the next video is going to be for people who are just coming to class 11th. The next video is going to be the complete two-year strategy that you guys have to follow in order to crack IIT JEE. It's going to be out in the next six days. Meanwhile, you can watch the video on the main channel, which is about how I studied smart during my final viva. Also, we are working on a mentorship program where you can get mentorship from these toppers. <sighs> That's also going to be out very soon. But meanwhile, I'll see you again in six days. Bye bye. See ya. Microphone check. Make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone. I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a